Hey guys, so a classmate asked, how do you solve for Nash equilibrium using calculus? To begin, let's first understand what Nash equilibrium is. Named after its inventor, John Nash, an American mathematician, Nash equilibrium is considered one of the most important concepts of game theory, which is a study that attempts to determine mathematically and logically the actions that participants of a game should take to secure the best outcomes for themselves. Nash equilibrium occurs when the optimal outcome of a game for a player is where there is no incentive to deviate from their initial strategy after considering an opponent's choice. It is possible for a game to have multiple Nash equilibrium or none at all. The importance of Nash equilibrium is far spread with applicability in economics to social sciences. You might have heard the example of the prisoner's dilemma, a game that is commonly used to describe and understand what Nash equilibrium is. In this game, two criminals are arrested and each is held in solitary confinement with no means of communicating with the other. The prosecutors do not have the evidence to convict the pair, so they offer each prisoner the opportunity to either betray the other by testifying that the other committed the crime or cooperate by remaining silent. If A betrays B but B remains silent, prisoner A is set free and prisoner B serves 10 years in prison or vice versa. If each remains silent, then each serves just one year in prison. If both prisoners betray each other, each serves five years in prison. What I just drew was a payoff chart that acts as a visual representation of the potential outcomes of various combinations of strategies taken by the prisoners. It's called a payoff chart because our payoffs, or the outcomes of the game, are defined by the values that we assign to each strategy as displayed here. Note that not in every game can we define the payoffs ourselves as they might already be given to us in the question, but in this case, we were able to. The Nash equilibrium for this example is for both players to betray each other. Even though mutual cooperation leads to a better outcome for everyone overall, the players are unaware of the other prisoner's choice and so care only about their own choices and their respective payoffs. So in the case that player B didn't betray player A, player A would actually get a higher payoff by ratting out the other person. In the case that the other player did betray him, they would get a higher payoff by still ratting out the other person. And this applies for both players. Using this best reply strategy or the graphical circle method, we can use it to help us determine what is the Nash equilibrium in a given scenario. But let's say we want to use more mathematical proofs than logic. This is where the calculus comes in. Remember that we previously defined a player's best reply and their best reply function as something that describes a strategy that maximizes a player's payoff. A formal definition can be seen like this, which represents a player's I's payoff function in an end player game. By taking the derivative of our payoff function and setting the equation equal to zero, we can solve for the best reply strategy that not only maximizes our payoffs, but also allows us to be in Nash equilibrium. It's important to note that while we are taking the derivatives of a player's payoff functions, we treat the variables that are not determined by the player's respective choices as constants, taking derivatives of only the variables the player can control. To further explain this concept, let's look at an example. Let's say players 1 and 2 are playing a game in which the strategy of player 1 is denoted as zi and can be any non-negative real number. The payoff function for player 1 and player 2 is defined as follows. Next, we will take the derivatives of our payoff functions. To do so, we first need to distribute the variables that exist outside of our parentheses. Then we need to identify which of our variables are constants. Since we are looking at player 1's payoff function, z2, which defines player 2's choices, will be treated like a constant while z1, which defines player 1's choices, will not. After taking the derivative, this is the function that we should get, which represents the best reply function for player 1. We set this equation equal to 0 and repeat the same steps for player 2's payoff function to find its best reply function. We solve for z1 and z2 using the standard substitution and elimination techniques to get the answer to our problem as z1 equaling 80 and z2 equaling 40. These values represent the strategies that player 1 and 2 must make respectively to reach Nash equilibrium. I hope this video helps you to learn more about Nash equilibrium and how to solve these problems using calculus.